welcome back mm, if you remember we have created a video series on inventory management system where we learn different type of things and among them one was how we can create a repeater field for this price and quantity right so a few weeks before i just got one mail on it right but i haven't checked right like, if we create uh, any invoice let's say i have two product 100 to 200 it's updated perfect and if i again create another product 200 to everything is perfect it seems perfect right but what if i delete this the state is not updated so here is the main issue right so in this video i am going to teach you how we can solve this uh, issue or how we can update our total discount and net total when any state updates on our repeater field so it's quite simple so if you are completely new here so i will just put the link of this uh, series on the description so you can get it and also there is a uh, article where there are a list of chapters as well as the video link with the github link for this repository so you can also get that uh, so let's start let me refresh this and let me go to my it's my purchase resource let me just zoom in and let me just so yeah so let us quickly recap what we have done here right so here if you go back 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 here so here if you can see we have only updated our form when price or quantity are changed right so if price is changed if quantity is changed then only we are updating our form data so for this what we will do is instead of using get or set we can directly use our liveware component right so let me just remove this and let me say liveware okay i am just passing this liveware and similarly in the next below like i'll just pass the library and let us see what the library works on right so if i go to update form data let me open library and let me just comment our get and set methods right so now we have a complete library component so remember it's a complete library component we are doing let's dump we have dump that right yeah so let's see what we have let me choose the quickly uh, okay it's not important let us go here product so still we are not getting this but if we see our logic whenever the state of price is changes it should call this method right okay let me just say 200 yeah here you can we can see we have a create purchase space right with id name listeners if we have right so these are the things that we need to understand so for this i have also created the uh series in liveware so that we can understand this type of things how we can create or how we can make them easily right so for this we, our main focus is on data right if i go to data here you can see i have all my data forms here so provider id invoice number purchase test and the repeater is inside our product so we have product id price quantity and total if you see here in our field we have four things product id of course price quantity and total right so so we can access them by directly by using data property so now so to get all the products what we can do is products equals to live where here's data and then it is inside product right live where data and inside product we will have an array so we'll just loop loop through them for each products is dollar product so now so if you remember what we have done previously we just get the price we get the quantity 
we multiply them to get the total to autofill our total pro total field and then to calculate the grand total which is for subtotal right so for that uh, let's first create the grand total variable which will be obviously 0 at first so now after looking through each product what we can do is we can get the price right dollar product p r o d u c t product price if it's zero it's okay else zero similarly let's get the quantity if, okay product quantity else it should be zero right similarly now let's get the total so total is always for us dollar price into dollar quantity right and then we are going to add that total in our grand total grand sorry total so i think it's all clear up to here i am not i have not set any of the fields up to now right so what we have done we have looped through each product and after that we paste the price of a single product let's say 100 and similarly quantity of that product and then total we have get the total and then we have just made this grand total if you remember this grand total is what we need to set for this sub total right if you go back here here okay total amount is our sub total we have set like this before but now what we can do is live wire data total amount equals to dollar grand total it's our grand total right similarly let's get the discount amount discount uh, amount equals to dollar library data discount yes this is our field name discount so i'm just referencing all everything from our previous code so discount we have get this now what we can say is net total equals to grand total and then we can just save them perfect so now I will just okay no, no need to remove this mm, let me just world method I have just set it so to clear okay so now we have set the net total to net total right so now if you see here everything seems to work fine let's see just uh, let's just ignore the front part let's go here 100 2 okay I am getting 200 right it's okay if I go back here TP 200 to 600 I am getting that but if you see the total I am not getting that it's not auto filled the reason for this is here we have have not said that yet right so what we can do is dollar product total equals to we can say total here so we, because we have a total attribute here which is this and we are just setting that but if you just do this test product 102 it still does not work because we have set the total value there but 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 we have not set that in products because it's in our products array so if we if you remember that let me just again dd library press right so here if you remember in every product there is a key and that key has the items so we, what i am going to do is now for products that particular key right now i want to update my whole product so the reason for this is I am just updating the total so it should now update the products array right it should update product with total perfect so let's check it refresh now if I go back here 100 to okay still we didn't get it so 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 now what may be the reason for this mm, 
we have a products we have a key product okay if I go here is that the key per correct yes it is correct true total okay so we are getting total we set the total of this to that particular total we added that and we added this products key equals to that product let me refresh it it should work no uh, what we can do is and then we need to set that uh, I forgot this so we updated the products now what we will do is we will just update the overall product property from LiveWire right here we have just updated the products if we did the products it will be okay it will update that but not for our LiveWire component right so for that what I need to do is again I need to set that product to that particular product now it should work properly 100 to yes 200 now if I go here tp2 200 to 400 right still if you see here this part is not working so now since we are now directly dependent to library instead of set and get because if we are in the set and get now we need to manually handle all the forms so now what I can do is directly inside the repeater okay let's create one clonable action too let's see what will happen in this case so test product 100 to 200 is okay if I clone it so it's not working in the case of cloning too right so now after we can use after state updated here right so here I want to get again the same library property because we because we have already handled our form data with library so now what I can do is update form data dollar library now every time this repeater is updated it will call our method so if I refresh here now if I test product 100 to 200 perfect if I clone it you can see 400 zero uh, okay discount is not in our hand for now right yeah it should work behind the scene so if i delete this it's or uh, if i just change to tp2 no changes if i change the price to 200 perfect it is 600 if i delete this perfect now it is 200 right so this way we can handle the reactivity or the form in much more detail right so i'll just post this code uh code and you can obviously access that github from here github link so thank you guys